Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead version 0 5 of the game and Aiden Harris is the character I'm playing. And last time when I left off is it was about 11.30 in the in the morning or almost noon. It is now almost 5 pm and in that time I have taken all the stuff from here in the hardware store carried it into the trunks or into one of these piles here where is the stuff that I won't take now and you can also see that I have uh, cleared the place out of these uh, display racks and uh, what I have done I will uh, I will show here I'm uh, at the moment uh, wielding a shovel oh, I have a shovel uh, I don't not sure if I spotted that last time, but I found all the tools I can possibly need from this hardware store and uh, and the last. So uh, I'm smashing all these uh, display racks here into pieces and then I will uh, examine the pile. And because I have a shovel, I don't need to be wielding it. But anyway, I can uh, clear up the wreckage getting uh, all the possible uh, scrap metal, chunks of steel, uh, scrap metal pipes, all that stuff. So I'm picking that up and doing the same thing with all these uh, display racks I just smashed. And uh, it's uh, quite a lot of weight, but not that much volume, I can almost get it all. And uh, then I take all that chunks of steel, scrap metal and things and take them here into this presser and I will drop to it uh, all the scrap metal, all the chunks of steel, all the pipes. And there's actually so much stuff I'm carrying that some of this, some of that spilled out. And now when I ex um, examine this uh, compressor, I can turn all the metal there inside it. It can be items, it can be chunks of chunks of steel, anything. I can turn that into uh, different kinds of metal, scrap metal, chunks of steel, sheet metal or lumps of steel. And from the lumps of steel I can create um, steel plating for my vehicle. So I've been turning all the metal into lumps of steel. And now let me put everything that was spilled out of it, back in. So the chunks of steel and pipe. And here I got uh, one lump of steel, I see. And actually, there are some, uh, some items here. Just a moment, let's drop the lump of steel here. And uh, I had some... Um, did I have some sheet metal here? No. I will take some of these uh, chunks of steel and compress them as well. So let's take those. Uh, I've had some uh, some monsters here uh, bothering me every now and then. Let's turn the metal inside now into a, into a sheet metal. And let's leave those free there. I can craft something out of that. And then take the scrap. And again, drop it. This actually took quite a lot of time uh, in real time for me. Five hours for Aiden, but it... I think it was almost 30-40 uh, minutes that I was uh, smashing those uh, display racks into... Display racks into... Um, in the store and uh, bringing them here, picking everything up and uh, then uh, just turning it all all into uh, lumps of steel. And that something spider is coming for me, I can see it. Um, so let's... Hmm, is that enough? No, it says insufficient steel. So I will uh, I will keep these. All right, let's uh, let's go here behind these lockers and wait for it. Dropped a lump of steel here. I will get the longbow. Pretty sure the spider will come. Now there's a wolf spider. All right, let's take these metals here. There's a lot of spiders. Let's 
should be the mound of them. If I need to fight them, I want to keep these lockers here. Scrap metal, a chunk of steel and pipe. Can I turn those into lumps? No. I want to save a couple of the sheet metals. It is possible to create lumps of steel from chunks of steel, and uh, but you need a welder and batteries for that. Are you coming, spider? Not hostile. Alright, let's uh, smash these ones. I'm not sure if it's, uh, that's the case, but it seems to me that uh, when uh, when wielding something good, something that might be good for smashing items like a shovel or hammer, these uh, display racks uh, get smashed easier. It might be just me me imagining, but uh, that's how it felt. Right, let's see if I can. Uh, do I need to fight them or uh, will they? Uh, will they let me go? Chunks of steel and pipe. Lumps of steel. Good. Just left some scrap metal behind. Good. And uh, I fought some uh, fought some zombies here, uh, and I think there was some. Uh, some spiders as well. Yeah, there's still a, still a corpse here. All right, let me uh, haul all this steel in here, and uh, these these logs as well, or two by fours. And I will take them all to my truck. I also it was raining here. Uh, raining while I was uh, smashing, so I set up a couple of funnels here with a plan to um, get some water, but uh, it was actually just a drizzle of water and I never got around to it. So, seven lumps of steel, six uh, chunks of steel, and then some scrap metal wire. Mm. Okay, so then in the end I didn't leave myself with the sheet metal, but um, that's fine. Let's uh, get to funnels. Funnels and drop them here as well. And uh, one, one thing I did was, um, I noticed, oh, I actually, this was mentioned in the comments, Comments. I was carrying a lot of a uh, lot of sewing kits, and uh, each of them had that 50 charges. But in fact, sewing kit is a kit that is loaded with thread. And when I reloaded a sewing kit, it actually held. It's there in the S. It holds 200 thread, and then I can just have the thread uh, as it is. It weights a bit, but I can leave. Leave some of that away, and actually, when I'm uh, when I'm uh, moving around, having a 200 charge sewing it uh, with me is uh, is plenty, and I probably won't need more than that. So here I have empty sewing kits that I don't need right now, and same thing with uh, with all those tools, because I uh, already already had at least one of each. So uh, right here I have quite a lot of food. Food and water, and uh, I will fill the plastic cherry can with water, and I will fill the steel cherry can with uh, with some gasoline. And here I have some miscellaneous items. Looks like I have two axes there as well. Mm. Wood saw, wood axe, hammer, screwdriver. And then the wrench, wrench is inside. All right, I was, uh, <laughs> I was actually wearing, um, wearing a hard, hard hat and a steel-toed, steel-toed boots as I was doing the, 
that uh, metal work there. I felt it was appropriate to keep a hard hat on. Uh, I think I will keep the steel toed boots with me, but uh, let's put the army helmet on. The steel toed boots are quite warm. Yeah, and durable. I will, uh, I will keep them. Let's uh, drop the hard hat in there, and let's also drop all the thread I am carrying. Anything else? Right, and so I will be wielding that one. And uh, in here I have um, all kinds of stuff from the hardware store, including that steel cherry can, a couple of metal tanks I can install, electric motor, an extra engine, uh, one steel frame also, and then some uh, wires, one pair trap as well. And um, let's actually take the wire away from there and drop it here. Do I have something in the, in the middle one? Ah, right. Ropes and duct tape and all kinds of uh, useful items. The flashlights, I can uh, disassemble them to electronic spots or I can use them as, uh, install them as headlights to the vehicle. Right. So now I have this one loaded. Loaded with the steel I got. If I'd, if I'd like, I could go and uh, smash the lockers and stuff in the other stores and bring it bring it back to this um, this compressor here so uh, this is quite an important spot so definitely noting this there's a steel compressor maybe I will hmm, let's use this symbol maybe that will uh, pop up Put looted hardware store. Right, so I know that's there. I could go, uh, could go and get some more, more items into those. But I want to check that military surplus building there as well. And uh, I will have, probably have to kill all the spiders around. Mm. And one one thing I was thinking about is actually checking all these, checking all these um, zombies I ran over, because they uh, now that they carry all kinds of items, I might actually get lucky and get some interesting, interesting uh, weapons, for example, from uh, from these. I, I think I butchered a couple of them, but uh, then I think uh, some. Uh, some zombie corpses actually disappeared. A grabber zombie is coming for me from there. I will take the tin can because I can uh, create that into batteries together with some other items. Right, but uh, let's uh, let's try to kill this zombie here. Come on now. There we go. Let's butcher that. And of course the tainted meat. I could create some zombie pheromones with it. Also, uh, also an option. And messenger pack. Also an excellent find. I might find a military rucksack. So very much worth it to... Uh, Go through all this. I mean, that's those vitamins reminded me. I do want to eat some vitamins? Need to be careful here as I'm uh, as I'm butchering, butchering that I'm not not get attack attacked well when on it. The spider is not doing anything yet. Mm. I'm not sure if I have under armor, but I will take it. I can uh, 
turn that into something. All right. Spider Corpse double barrel shotgun. Well, in a way, something I was looking for. Let me see what I can do with that. If I take the. That's not necessarily a gun I want to use, but can I. Uh, yeah, I can probably drop that. But some, some other shotgun I might actually pick up. Or I might find some other useful items. Sunglasses there. Well, very soon it fight this jumping spider, I'm pretty sure of it. Hammer. Mm, I'm not sure why, but some of these corpses have... Some of these zombies have actually... Zombie corpses have disappeared. And as far as I know, there hasn't been a necromancer around. I know that in the... In the development version, or... What will uh, eventually be the version 0 0.6? Some of the some of the zombies can actually they can actually uh, race back again if you leave them there. I will take the meat of that uh, spider. Do probably need to eat. Oh, what is that? Mossberg 500. Is that a shotgun? Mossberg 500 is a popular series of pump-action shotgun, often acquired for military use. High durability and low recoil. Alright, I will keep that. Sounds like a good shotgun. Just in case there is uh, necromancers at some point here, I, I am butchering all these on these corpses. Uh, there's another spider there. Right. So many of them have food as well. Yeah, I drove, drove over a lot of zombies. A raincoat. I definitely want that. Am I carrying that much stuff? Ah, oh, wait. Alright, let me uh, take these items back to the truck. I do want rain coat in case uh, I get into a uh, acidic rain or rain rain at all. Let's drop the shotgun here, tin can. Mm. I might actually, well, no, I will leave the messenger back here as well. I don't need that either at the moment. Chunks of meat can stay. Well, actually, I will put them into the into the other trunk. Potato chips, chunks of meat. Hmm. Maybe I will drop some of the magnum ammo and not keep as much on me as I have. Let's drop 62 here, that should. Except they didn't remove that much weight. The wooden arrows are weighing a lot more. I have two crowbars. I don't need two. I didn't notice that. Probably want to keep the probably want to keep the shovel on. No 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 Stop I didn't mean to Jesus <laughs> I didn't mean to jump into the car and start driving it. The 
crowbar. Alright, good. Let's go if there's something else nice here. Jumping spider. Not coming after me yet. Crapper zombie in the west. It's okay. Another backpack. I don't think I need a third one. I would take a, would take a military rucksack for sure. Big lock kit, can of spam. Yes. Oh, sneakers. I think I want to put on the sneakers. Well, not now. When I uh, take off my boots, maybe then. A flashlight, another raincoat, I will take it. Butchering corpses here while at it. That is training my... Uh, training my survival, which is on level 3 at the moment. Third raincoat, I will take it. It's not in there. Ah, oh, the grabber zombie is coming at me. Let's hide behind the vehicle. And shoot it. Have to, yeah, archer and firearms. We're uh, well locked. Oh, Remington 870, another shotgun. I will take that and I, I will choose later on what I actually want to use. Then, if I find some uh, ammo, I think there might have been some in that gun store I located earlier, but um, had to leave because of the of the zombies. Well, maybe I won't won't need yet another raincoat. So all these zombies I killed. Some aspirin. Zombie in the northwest. It's quite far away. A single firecracker. Let's keep an eye on. Uh, and there we go, military rucksack. I'm not sure if I can repair that with uh, and a glass bottle as well. Not sure if I can repair it with the sewing kit, but I will. Uh, I will try. What do we have here? Not a backpack. I don't need that. A radio. Anything with batteries is good use to me. But I don't... Well, actually, I will... Mm. Yeah, I will, uh, I will keep it. I don't necessarily re need the radio, but I know do need batteries. Potato chips. So right, I have looted the streets of this point now. I think I will leave it there. I will take the car. The car to the gas station soon. I will fill that steel steel cherry can. What I will do now is take the stuff back to the car, then go check out the military military surplus and then it, it'll be time to probably head back to the garage to repair the vehicle a bit. Let's drop 
the food I found into this one trunk here. Then uh, to the next one, the raincoats. Mm, I will see if I can repair the rucksack. I will also drop the steel toad boots because I will put the sneakers on. The glass bottle can stay here. The Remington can stay. Let's put the radio in there. Firecracker can stay. I don't need another flashlight. I will put that there as well. Or actually, hmm. Let's just take batteries out of those. Flashlights and radio. And then just drop them here. The radio and empty flashlight and I'm keeping 100 extra batteries on me everything else can stay right then let's put on the sneakers and let's test out can I repair the rucksack no I can't um Encumberment 2. Alright, I won't carry the rucksack with me now. I have the sneakers on now, so my feet is, feet is less encumbered. Because at the moment when I'm carrying all the wooden arrows, all the, all the ammo for Red Hawk, um, I'm more limited by the weight than volume. But I'm also thirsty, so let's drink some orange juice. Let's drink some water as well. And while here, let's also eat. I will drop the bottle there and I will take some something back. Let's take one meat and one bottle of water. And go raid that um, this military place. And of course, here is the restaurant as well. We have something interesting here. We have some steak knives and glass bottle. And those might come in handy. Butter knife, I'm gonna use that to crafting as well. Alright, do we have something in the kitchen of the restaurant? Rotten pizza, butter knife, heat pack. Heat pack and a fridge and a door. Mm, sure, let's clear it. Was there anything there? No, it was just smashed. Some orange juice here in the restaurant. We are on day five now. So uh, it is actually getting quite close to the point where Is the spider coming after me? There's some zombies down south as well, but quite far away. I haven't been in this area that much. There might actually be some uh, some right here at the front of the store. So let's take a peek around the corner. Nothing. What else do I see? Fast food restaurant, house, abandoned storefront. All right, let's take the safe mode off. And see what we have here. Did I have a utility vest? How to trap anything? Some uh, MREs. Chocolate bar belt rake. I think that's uh, storage as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Binoculars. Yes. And military rucksack in good condition. Yeah, this was very much worth it. Very good stuff. Belt rake and the utility vest. Did I have the... Ah, oh, I did have a utility vest, but I didn't have a belt rake. That spider won't come through the window, because it's just an animal. 
Um, I think I will take this Barrett. First aid kits as well, good. And if if I'd want, I could come here and smash all these uh, all these display racks for steel. Chocolate. Uh, I will switch my. Mm -hmm. I will take that UPS. I'm not sure if I will need it, but uh, I will take it. I will drop the scratched army helmet I have, and I will wear this good conditioned one. Belt rake. So let me see. Torso is free. With belt rake. Where? I think it cost four. No, I don't even get to get it from the extra item. So I have a whole lot of volume now. Whole lot of volume. Don't need boots. Another belt rig. If I want a ridiculous amount of volume, I could have it. How to trap anything. It's good, it's a beginner book, but all the way to four. Uh, I'll take the extra combat knife. And the binoculars. Yes, yes, yes. As soon as I get the binoculars, I will start mapping. Mapping two squares away from me. Uh, one square more as I walk in the wilderness in the map. I had that book already. I don't need it. A military rucksack. Mm. I guess I could wear it. Let's take the backpack off. I will go to uh, for encumberment. Volume is near two hundred. Yeah, maybe I just maybe I just won't. Let's take the military rucksack off. Maybe I will just ha have just the military rucksack. Hmm, I didn't think about that. I still have 158. And the compartment is the same. Alright. Under armor, plenty of barrettes here. Mm, I guess I can take a additional arm pants, army helmet, additional utility vest as well. And that's one. Alright, that one gonna stay. Mm, A uh, lot of display racks, as I said, I could uh, could come and take it. I am over encumbered now. That gives me. Well, actually, I am not. There is the spider. It's right there. Mm. Is there any here? No. Okay, I will. Uh, I will get to my truck. Probably kill that spider here while I'm at it. Let's wait a bit. Oh, one shot. Nice. Mm. You know what? I will. Uh, I will haul those corpses into into the truck in just a moment. Drop here all these, all these clothes I found. The glass bottle, the book, the 
UPS, heat packs, steak knives, unloaded batteries from a couple of flashlights, put the empty ones in the storage, together with butter knives and chunks of chitin, 200 batteries there. Chocolate will stay good, the MREs will stay good. If I do get thirsty, I will, uh, I will drink that orange juice. Right, let's uh, pick up these jumping spider corpses and uh, I want to butcher them. There's some, uh, some food for me, Tertan, if I need to. Oh, oh, really? The trunk is full. All right. Typical. Now I think that's done. This time I will actually drive this vehicle. Oh, rabbit stepped into a into a shotgun trap. Um, do I have the, the cruise control is on? Let's disable it for a while and let's uh, let's back away from here. I will turn the vehicle around. There we go. Cruise control on. Some speed on. And our target is the gas station. How is my driving? It's now 70% towards the second level. Oh well. Oh, I actually rammed into the wall. <laughs> and damn it's the wheel. Damn it. Ah, Alright. Let's uh, let's take it easy then. Oh, look at that! I I damaged the car. Pretty good there. The windshield is gone. This frame is broken. Uh, frame. All oh, right. This this vehicle needs repairs. And uh, I will need to be quite careful. When I drive around, because uh, the windshield in front of me is broken. Right, so driving, driving, driving. Oh, sorry, squirrel. Controls. Let's take the speed off for a bit. Don't want to ram into the. There we go. Handbrake. Wait, wait, wait. Exit. Yes. Open. Do I see any enemies? No, I don't. Now, somewhere in here should be the steel cherry can. There it is. Taking that one and I should be able to use it. And the steel cherry can is now full of gasoline. What? 20,000? 25 liters. That's pretty good. Let's put that one here. Mm. 
Oh, I guess while here, I might as well fill the car as well. Good. So now I have 25 liters of gasoline in the trunk in steel cherry can. And I can uh, drive, uh, drive back to the garage, I think. The night is falling and I'm not sure if any of the headlights in this car are working. Do I even have one? Well, I do, but they are both kind of broken. Yeah, I think the day six might be uh, repairing this vehicle. And uh, I will probably... Probably, um, let's see, do the, do the headlights work? Yes, they do. They are just a bit broken, but they, uh, but they do work. Carefully, uh, carefully driving all the way there. Uh, don't come here, wolf. No, no, no. Don't come here. And don't you fumble with the controls that much. I don't want to ram into anything anymore. Not into anything solid, at least. Okay, steer a bit. There's the hardware store right there, south of me, where I left. So that was here. The uh, streets are kind of empty now. Well, there's a moose. I'm not sure if I want to ram into a moose. So at least in uh, at least in real life, uh, that is uh, that is potentially a fatal accident, crashing into a massive uh, massive animal like that. Right, turning uh, turning north here carefully. The, the visibility, well, of course, here it is actually a lighting issue, but the visibility through the to the side is uh, could be a bit better on these uh, on these vehicles. I guess it's an issue of not having windows there, but I don't know. This the garage here. Yes, it is. Very carefully. I think I will drive into the garage if I, if I can. I'm actually pretty darn close into crashing into a... Crashing into the vehicle there north of me. Mm. Cruise control off. And I crashed into it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that will go flying. And I crashed into it again. Again. And I don't know what the hell happened there. Where am I? Oh, I turned around. Okay, here's what I will do. I will pull a handbrake. Wait a bit. The car, car physics are not particularly strong. Alright, so that's how the car is there. The cruise control is not on. So if I back away and then turn the tires that way. Come on. I don't care about jumping spider right now. Uh, 
Oh, wait. That was the wrong key. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, get out. Uh, the garage is there. I almost almost managed to back away to it. It's it's not very easy. Uh, hmm. Actually, exit open. Uh, there's the spider. I will get my Ruger because I've had enough with this the spider now. There you go. So let's open that one. Somehow try to back us way in there. So I will turn the wheel that way a bit. Turn carefully. Backing away. Now, if I turn that way, I should turn into... No? Okay. It is not very easy, and now the spider is there. Maybe I'll just drive there forward and then, uh, then back away. Oh, there's the spider. Alright, let's see if I can drive my way in here. And turn, turn, turn. I think I actually might have been able to do it. The spider is there bothering me a bit, but... Yeah, 